What we're going to do is take the bird out of the bag, and then I'm going to measure his leg to determine what band size. I know what species he is. I identified that when he was in the net. You have to be careful that they don't crawl out of the bag up your arm. And we want to get them in what's called a bander's grip. Sometimes they're kicky and they get away. This guy's pretty kicky this morning, but I think I've got him. Okay, so this is a bander's grip. The bander's grip, you, you put your fingers around the neck and basically your hand is covering its body. I'm going to switch hands. I should have gotten it out with the other hand because we're going to band. I'm right-handed. I band with my right hand. And we put the band on the, the right leg. I have the bird in what we call the bander grip, and it's in my left hand because we want to band the right leg of the bird. And so what I'm going to do is kind of hold my fingers like this. I've got to measure the leg of the bird to determine which size band. I know generally what size band because I use the pile guide and where it says Inca Dove here, if you come over here, his acronym is INDO, and it tells me I should use band size two or three. But that doesn't tell me which one for sure. So I use this tool to measure the leg. And uh, they have short, stubby little legs. We want to be sure that that band will slide up and down around his leg easily, but not over his foot. So the two looks good. If I had a three, you see how it slipped right off. So I'm gonna use a band size two, which I suspected. And what I'm gonna do now is open the band. Uh, the band goes on the bird uh, in a particular way. And so be sure I have the band on correctly. We'll just open the band. Just wide enough that I can get over his foot. And I want to be sure that it's not bent weird. When, when the bird holds his foot up, I want him to be able to read the band. That's how I remember what end it goes up. And so this is a banding tool. I've numbered those to make it easy for our, my banders. And so I'll slip that over his foot, maybe. May have to open it a little bit more. You don't want to open it too much. But it looks like I may need a little more opening for this bird. Let's try it again. The one thing we want to do is be careful that that band doesn't overlap itself. It's very difficult to get a band off of a bird. That slipped in there nicely. I'm, I'm just gently closing it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it a little so it's in a different position, so I can sort of round it out, so it'll slip up and down the leg fairly easily. 